Hi, Dustin. This is Elijah. I spoke with Shauna earlier today, and she was the one that told me to send this video over to you. Uh, this is going to give you a couple of different tips that you guys can apply right now to your current website in order to be able to rank higher on Google and get you more customers to come in. Um, I realize that right now, small businesses within this last year have really taken a huge hit, and they can use all the help that they can get. So I'm hoping that I can add tremendous value to you today uh, by providing you with these free things. So I'll hop right into it without wasting any more time. Um, the first thing I'm going to go over with you today, I'm going to talk about content and then I'll touch on backlinks and I'll lastly I'll end on citations. But I really wanted you to understand uh, content a little bit better. So Google has this thing where they realize that you guys need about 1,500 words to 2,000 words on the front page of your website. And when I checked out your website, I realized that I, I did like it. You have content on your website. It might not be 1,500 words, but um, you do have content on your website and the design of the website is nice. It's like... Uh, if 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 I were looking for roofing surfaces, you guys seem friendly enough, and this looks nice enough that I would I would honestly hit on you if you were on the first page of Google, and that's where you're not. So, the one thing we want to do is add 1,500 words to this front page, and I can tell you right now, based on your competitors who were, oh, excuse me, who were uh, San Diego roofing and roofing specialists of San Diego, and all I did was look up roofing San Diego, so you can see really quick. By the way, they get searched about 1,300 times a month. Um, you can see that the first two places I selected uh, were San Diego Roofing Inc. And obviously not Yelp because it's a large directory. It's not an organic site. And uh, Roofing Specialist of San Diego. And uh, I came over and I looked at their sites and I realized that there was nothing about their sites that was mind-blowing in comparison to your site. Which tells me that you guys... If you just put 1,500 words of content on your website, you'd be killing it right now. Same thing for Roofing Specialists of San Diego, who ranks number two underneath uh, San Diego Roofing. These guys don't have a lot of content either. Um, the one thing I will give them is that they've realized that today you need to optimize with a video on the front page of your website because people want to see that or some type of slideshow. So you guys, both you and them are doing good in that aspect. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about with you, it, it will really tie into the content as well because I'm going to really break this down to give you like the nitty gritty that you need to do this in order to, for you to rank better um, is that I use a tool called Arefs and Arefs is amazing. Uh, Google, like you've got Google Analytics and, and Google AdWords and all those things or whatever, but it's really hard to kind of understand that and they don't have like uh, one console or platform that you can use to kind of to do things with ease, which is why we have all of these other software companies. Uh, but Arefs is one of the companies that's figured it out and knows how to make it work. So their numbers are approximate, but even though they're approximate, they're like within like a hair of a percent when it comes to um, being uh, being spot on with Google. So this is why I like to use them. Uh, they're about 300 bucks a month, um, and you can buy that tool if you want to. Um, you don't have to, but it's one of the best tools there is to use in order to honestly see where your website's at and how to rank it on Google accurately. So when I look at it, I, when I look at your website immediately, I notice the first thing is that your domain rating is so low. I mean, usually that happens if you have backlinks attached to your website. It happens because the quality of the backlinks isn't where they should be. So when I connect on here, it allows me to see uh, the grade for the backlinks that you have. Um, more importantly, it allows me to understand like if you're being... Uh, allowed site authority for the sites that you have site authority um, they have no rating and I just wanted you to understand that really quick so site authority is where you see you see I got no follow here but that's not listed on any of these other sites that means that every site that allows you to link to them um, and is giving you site authority has no rating in Google so because of that your domain rating for your website is like at a zero it's just it's not where it should be. So we would want to go through and clean up the type of backlinks that you have that you're going to get ref that you're going to get follow links from. So um, and I'll and I'll dive a little bit deeper into just show you what your competition is doing, how we can take that from them as well. Um, but one, I want to key back on these organic keywords because it's probably like the most important part. So you guys are only getting about 14 people per month that come to 14 people per month that come to your website. Which in the last uh, month, obviously that went up by 12, so you were only getting two per month before then. Um, when I come over here and I look at your keywords, um, you're getting searched by your name. That's where most of your volume is coming through right now, and you can see it. So you got about 13 people, they say, that come to your website based off of the Pioneer Roofing, and then the rest of them are coming based off of 
all these other things that have to do with Pioneer, Utah, San Francisco, uh, reviews and company and stuff like that. But so the remaining amount of keywords that you have, you're not getting any, uh, you're not getting any traffic for it because your position on there is not on the front page of Google. And that's what this is all about. So if you're rated on the front page of Google or closer to the front page, um, you're going to get more traffic that comes into your site. Right now, you don't have a fighting chance um, for any of the any of the keywords that you have on your website, which is kind of a waste. So what we would do is clean that stuff up. And, and I just really wanted to see show you that uh, because you don't have um, any traffic coming in from the words that actually get searched the most within this local uh, vicinity, you're missing out on quite a bit. Uh, let's say Roofer San Diego, that's huge. The fact that you're not you don't ha you're not ranking for that you're on the seventy eighth page for that that's a problem and that's one of the biggest search keywords that you guys have on your website um, that alone if we were to take and rank your whole website for would turn things around drastically for you you would go from having um, you know just a couple of fourteen people who see your website to four hundred people who come to your site and then you take that four hundred people and say let's say that only like fifty percent of them actually uh, follow through with requesting a quote, uh, a quote, and that your conversion rate's pretty high, then you'd be able to have about twenty or thirty people who were actual clients of yours, which will bring in more money for you every month. So that alone would change how you guys are receiving clients on a monthly basis. So I kind of wanted to show you your um, your competition and what they were doing. Uh, so San Diego Roofing, uh, San Diego Roofing Company. Is who I decided to use for um, this because they were ranked number one but if you come over here and you check out the layout for them as you can see their domain rating is at 24 but I'll be honest with you um, to have 730 backlinks and only have a domain rating of 24 it doesn't say that all of your domains um, have weak uh, popularity it just says that they're not the best all of them aren't the best um, they could be better in order for them to rank higher but they don't need it because they don't have any competition in it. So if we came through and we just dominated on getting you solid good backlinks, um, your popularity amongst Google would go up almost immediately. Um, and, and that keep in point, uh, keep in mind that that's these are 91 referring domains that have links that come from their site. So that's how they're getting these backlinks also. So they have 478 keywords and they're bringing in more traffic than their keywords, which is really what I wanted you to see, so you could really understand. Um, for you to optimize where you need to be at in order to get the kind of traffic that you want to bring your business to the next level. So when I type in San Diego and I take a look, everything having to do with San Diego, those guys that get most of their traffic is because they're in the, the top 10 positions of Google in order for them to have it. So other than professional roofing services San Diego, which they're still getting some traffic from, um, and they're still beating other people in, they are ranked in the first 10 positions on the front page of Google for most of these keywords. That's why their traffic is so high. And we need to do the same thing for you. So if we go in there and we change out, again, the content and the way your website's laid out so that you can get more uh, keywords indexed on your page, you're going to see an increase dramatically in your, in your, in your uh, customers coming per month. So last, I wanted to talk about something called citations. So all I did was look at Roofing San Diego, right? Um, and this is what came up. Roofing San Diego had the San Diego Roofing Company and a couple of the companies or whatever, Roofing Specialists of San Diego or whatever. But the, the importance of this is that a citation is where you're going to have your business's name, phone number, address, um, all linked in this directory. It's an online directory. And the common ones that we know of are Facebook, uh, MapQuest, Yahoo, Yelp. Uh, easy local things like that those guys are, are pretty known for having high rated online directories well a lot of people will go through and they'll get these low rated directories because they think they just need to be cited somewhere and it actually penalizes them they don't get brought up to the front part of where Google is so what we would do is go through and get you um, solid citations and high rated domains or directories with these domains in order for you guys to be able to populate an optimized version of Google Maps I mean, we all know that using mobile right now is kind of the biggest thing that people uh, that people are on. So if you're in the Google Map Pack, you're going to get more traffic. That's just a guarantee. So I just wanted to make sure I went over all this stuff with you guys, Destin, to make sure that you really honestly had tools to be able to move forward to really increase your customers for your business. 
Um, if you apply everything I said, I have no doubt, you should have no doubt that this will actually happen for you. And if you guys want help, you can reach out to me. Uh, give me a call at 770-527-7297. Again, this is Elijah with Kingdom Digital. If not, and you guys want to do this stuff yourself, I'm 100% I'm cool with that. All I ask is that you just shoot me an email over with one sentence telling me about the value that this, this video actually gave you. Or maybe some a critique on what I could do better in order for me to help benefit you know, other businesses just like yours in the future. So thank you so much. I'm looking forward to hearing from you.